Hi everyone, it's Graham at Dent Detail PDR. Today we're going to look at this pretty nasty dent on a VW Polo. We're going to be using the new Kiko LTT beams for a lateral tension. Um, I think they're going to do a pretty good job on this. I'm going to demonstrate how to use them, where best to set them up, how well they're going to work in conjunction with the other glue pulling tools and equipment um, from Kiko. Um, bit of a walkthrough on this dent repair. You can see the body lines pushed in pretty deeply. Um, it's potential this damage to be stretched. So using um, lateral tension, pulling the dent from sideways outwards, um, it should uh, massively help. So as always, to get the best pulls, we'll be using the six C's process, which is check, choose, clean, coat, correct, continue. Um, Following this process, you'll get a good pull every single time. Um, most important is getting the panel clean. If you've got a clean panel, um, your tabs are clean, you're going to get a good solid adhesion between the glue, the tabs and the panel. Um, so in doing that, after we've chose what we're going to use, we're going to clean the panel. So we polish the panel first, just some cutting compound, um, hard buffing head. Um, wipe all that off and we use the 99% isopropyl alcohol so that will take off any grease that's left and we'll also clean up the tabs as well um, heating them to get rid of any residue that's left so once we're all clean panel's ready to go we'll uh, be applying the glue so glue go onto the tabs making sure there's no gaps there's no air bubbles and if there is gaps or air bubbles there's going to be less adhesion and that could mean the glue and the bond uh, breaking away before we've, we've done a, a pull or coming off during the pull you can see what i'm doing there once i put the main glue on the tab and then placing it in place on the panel i'm filling around the edges with the glue going making sure there's a nice bond and bead all the way around both of the tabs get making sure you're getting it up and underneath again you might miss any glue Come underneath the tab if you're not checking it properly so just make sure there's a nice bead all the way around it just hold it in place until it's set um tabs this size obviously the more glue that's on the tab it's going to take long to set so you might be looking at between two and three minutes for a tab this size making sure it's held in place here you can see how we attach the glue pulling tabs to the ltt beam that pin just fits through the holes on the connector and then back out the other side of the glue tab with the locking pin keeping it in place really easy to set up really easy to take off um, massively helps speed up the repairs and what we need to do is we need to take it off take it on move it somewhere else later on in the repair same process again clean the panel clean the tabs um, heat it up make sure it's the right temperature um, fill the glue up to the tab no gaps no air bubbles same process as before um, just to note this panel is steel so we're going to be pulling it around 20 21 degrees same as before glues all on the tab get it in place and make sure there's a nice bead all around the tab just to note here if you can see where the tabs are they're actually running perfectly straight in line with that body line these tabs are actually almost triangle shaped so the very point of that triangle is where the top of the body line is running parallel with it. So just a bit of a closer pace, so you can see that bead of glue all the way around it. Doesn't matter if it's dripping here and there, we just need to make sure that that bead is completely all the way around those tabs so we know we've got a really strong bond and it's not gonna fly off or come off sooner than we needed it to. Checking the temperature, you, know, you can see that there, it's currently around 25 degrees on this one we set up last, you can see 21 now. So we want to be pulling around 20, 21, pretty normal temperature today here. Yeah. Um, it's steel, so yeah, around 21 is good to go. So now we know everything's at the right temperature, glue, tabs, panel, um, it's set, we're ready to make the balls. You can see here, the turning handles at the end are pulling the tab 
outwards. So you can see the tab that's closest to my hand there on the right, that's not gonna move, that's staying, that's locked in place. The tab that's on the left-hand side of the beam there, you can see that's one that's gonna be getting drawn outwards. So as we turn in the handles there, we're gonna take it steady. There's no need to go all in, wind it all out. I'm winding each one out opposite sides at the same time. And there you go. If you notice that loud bang, that was the tension releasing. It's a bit of a close up there. That dent has probably been chopped down in half, 50, 60%. Um, all the tension has been taken off that now. This tab here, you can see on the right, that's pulled it out to the right. The beam on the left has pulled it out to the left. The gap between the two doors was probably actually opened up maybe one to two mil before we started this repair. Pulling the damage out back to the right hand side has closed that gap up. You'll see a better view of that later on. Um, one of the great things about LTS and keeping it under tension is you can do work while it's under tension. You see here, we're working on the crowns. The crowns have still got a little bit of tension in here. Um, so while it's still being pulled, it helps the flow of metal even more. Um, we can keep it all set up. I, I kept these beams on pretty much for 70, 80% of this repair. Just helps the flow of metal for everything, knocking down, working the crowns, still glue pulling like you can see here. Um, it just helps it all flow nice and easy. The tab you can see that we're using the slide down right here is a dead center ice tab. Most of that damage was just above the body line. Now that the tension's being released on it, pulling up something like this is made a hundred times easier. If we just would have went straight in, trying to pull the body line up like this, it would have taken forever. It might not have released, it could have stretched it. Wouldn't have got a, a good repair on it really, but using the tension, to help it flow. Speeds are repair up in many different ways. You see we're doing some more knocking down while we've still got that glue tab on there. Um, you don't have to do everything in one go. You can't do pulling without doing knocking down. So it's as, as the repair goes, the dent changes, it changes shape pressure can get released there it might put pressure somewhere else you've got to adjust to how the repair is going you can see this glue pulling we're doing further up um that was actually brace damage so whatever hit this car shocked the metal pushed it up and as most cars have they've got a inner beam that's around the middle of that section of the door so a lot of that was a high crown sticking outwards but two very low creases on either side of that so it's so obviously all part of the damage we're going to repair all of that. Working back and forth between knocking down, glue pulling, working on the grey section that's all the brace. Um, so don't do everything in one go. As the dent moves, the repair moves with it. At this point, we're about two thirds of the way through the repair. You can see there, that's a bit of locked in pressure. We're going to remove the beam soon and we can work on that a little bit better. But at this point, the beams have done their job. Um, I, there is the seam that's on the inside of the door. When damage is near panel edges, it can roll that round. It can be pretty tricky, but we can sort that out. You can see there, probably six pulls. So in the time them beams have been on there, we've done six solid pulls along that body line. Um, and you can see how well the collision glue actually holds up, keeping in place. As all, all glue tabs coming off, to release them, warm them back up, isopropyl alcohol to release it once a little gap's been created, pull it away, same with any tabs really. Um, if we wanted these on here longer, we can just reheat them up and it'll activate the glue again. So theoretically, they could be on there all day if we needed them to be. They've done their job, they've sped up the repair, so it's now just a case of finishing off the uh, finer bits. You see in place on a super tab here, there's a low spot there, you can tell by using the LED light reflection on there. Nothing major sharp, we're just going to use a robo lifter now to ease out everything out. 
you don't need any big poles probably not going to use a slide hammer freeing on inwards all the main work of the dentist on this is a case of getting out as much as we possibly can to get that repair as flat as we possibly can so this knocking down here you're going to see we've moved down to a finer knockdown tip as we're picking out the details we want to use something fine nothing too blunt get it as flat and smooth as we possibly can. So here's how the repair turned out. It's come out really nice. Um, the gap between the door edges, that's closed up. The big dent and ripples right through the body line. They've gone. The crown above it, completely flat. The seam along the bottom edge, that's been flattened out too. Um, using the Kiko LTT beams have massively helped this repair. Um, tension point for something like this chops job time down massively i um, highly recommend using them they'll be on my toolbox from now on uh, thanks for watching hope you picked something up